Hello, and welcome back to another uh, DVD and Blu-ray pickups, where, uh, yeah, I have a few things here, three that are bought and three that were actually for free, and then, of course, I'll end this off once I'm done recording this, and then the next time I should record is, oh, excuse me, uh, the next time that I go hunting, which will be recorded again. So, yeah. Um, so starting off with some of the paid uh, ones, uh, starting off with actually one that I'm happy to have in the collection because I do love this and the sequel. Uh, I'm pretty sure as well there's talks about a third one coming out soon. I haven't heard anything about it in a few years, but I am referring to Sister Act. I adore this movie and I'm happy to have it in, in the collection. It uh, cost me three euro. So, moving on to uh, this next one, which cost me a euro. Uh, I'm actually happy that it was still there. And that is Oliver. So this is, of course, the Oliver Twist movie. I remember seeing bits and pieces of it in primary school, but I never f finished it. So, yeah, it is the sing-along edition, but um, I don't really care about it being sing-along. Uh, it does actually have a, uh, two booklets in here. Um, one going over the special features. And then I suppose this one is a scrapbook. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this. See, oh, okay. So it's a little thing, you know, for your kids. It actually hasn't been done by the looks of things. So you have like a little coloring chest there um you have a word search as well as a maze uh what is it a match game as well as a crossword puzzle uh an owl and dress up with oliver that you can do uh so it just got get you the steps for that, and then more coloring, and spot the difference. It's a neat little thing. Uh, join the dots and copy, which that would have been, I would have liked that, I'm trying to match it. And then it's the picture puzzle. So you basically, I think you just say, it's just ask you questions and you write it in, and then, the last one is a sticker jigsaw, which all the stickers are there. So the fact that that hasn't been, like that's still technically, that is brand new, is uh, pretty neat, uh, if if I do say so. Um, so yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good pickup. Uh, the last one that I paid, uh, that was a euro. So this next one I paid 154. I haven't seen it, I don't think. And uh, I do know one of my favorite actors is in it, Doug Jones. He plays one of the the, the monster with the with the eyes over in the hands. So of course I'm talking about Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, I don't think I've seen this before. Uh, and like I said, the only thing that I do know about it is that Doug Jones, who plays Saru in Star Trek Discovery is the monster in this and that's that's as far as that goes but uh, I got three for free uh, in CEX because you know I know my one of the friends in there and they have like a big bunch of uh, stack of one euro DVDs behind uh, in uh, behind this uh, the thing and uh, so he has handed me a couple of stacks as well as a friend uh, we both got three things each so this is what I got. I have not seen it nor heard of it, but it's a Tarantino film. So I'm assuming it's going to be good. Um, it might not be, but we'll see. Uh, it is The Hero with Jet Li. So I know absolutely nothing about it, but it's a Tarantino film. I'll give it a go. Uh, up next is one that I, I think is uh, a lot of people say is a really good movie. Uh, I definitely have heard of it. I've never seen it though. And that being Casablanca. Uh, I, like I said, I don't know anything about it. It's a, it's a black and white film. 
and uh, yeah, literally know nothing about it other than I think it's like a really popular movie. So happy to have it into the collection. And then the last one is an uh, uh, is an Adam Sandler film, and that is Billy Madison. Never seen it before, but hey, a free Adam Sandler film will go great into the collection. So yeah, that is essentially what I have for today. And uh, yeah, of course, the next clip will be next Monday uh, for me, uh, where I will, of course, have filmed a live DVD and Blu-ray hunt. So I will see you in just a second. Good morning. Uh, what's well, been a second for you? It's been a few days for me because I ordered something from CEX and uh, I just got it today. Uh, I had ordered something else and uh, which got cancelled and I asked my mate who was actually up at that store why and they just couldn't find the disc unfortunately. Uh, which I'm not surprised because that store that I ordered from, from what he's told me from being up there a few times, it's a shit show. So... Yeah, anyway, uh, I decided as well, uh, even though I already made a video about it, I'll still include it in this pickups because it is still technically a uh, pickups. And that is, uh, let me just bring them closer to me. Uh, the four Blu-ray, Doctor Who Blu-rays that uh, AJ's Movie Play sent me. Uh, like I said, I know I made a video on it, but I will still add it into this video because it is a pickups. So here we have series one, volume one, which contains the 11th hour, the beast below and victory of the Daleks. Uh, series five, volume two, which has the time of angels, flesh and stone and the vampires of Venice. Series five, volume three, which has Amy's choice, the hungry earth and cold blood. And then lastly, series five, volume four, which has Vincent and the Doctor, the Lodger, the Pandorka opens, and the Big Bang. So yeah, that was very nice of AJ to send these on. I'm still very appreciative of these um, to add into the collection as a Blu-ray upgrade. And uh, speaking of Blu-ray upgrades, uh, that's what I ordered. Um, I already had this on regular DVD, but I saw this literally for a euro plus two shipping. I was like, you know what, I had a voucher because uh, I finally traded in my backlog of uh, spare DVDs that I had upgraded to Blu-rays and when I got those, I could use then trade in my Doctor Who Series 5 one and so I, uh, I ended up buying this. So this is it and it is... Last Christmas, I despise this. Uh, happy that it comes with a slip because mine, my one, uh, my regular DVD one, also has a slip cover, and it's it's essentially the same thing, just you know for the Blu-ray. So yeah, uh, here is the Blu-ray out of a slip, same cover, same back. And then it has Nick Frost on the inside. Uh, I'm not too sure about the DVD if it has Nick Frost on the inside. Since I have it on hand, let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, uh, Nick Frost is on the the DVD. So interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have for right now. Um, of course, I will be. I'm going to be filming a live DVD and Blu-ray hunt uh, on Monday for me, and uh, then there will be a, a few bits of pickups. I'm not too sure how well it's going to go because there hasn't really been anything of interest in my normal spots the past couple of weeks so we'll see on Monday how it goes but again second for you and a few days for me okay so it's actually second for you several hours for me because uh, I was in town today and I actually decided to film for uh, the next recent DVD and blu-ray pickups well not pickups but the live DVD and blu-ray hunting 
Um, and I only found three things, so uh, I suppose let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up was in the TV show section, and it was 150. I know I have series two of this already on DVD, so I may as well pick it up, and that is series seven of How I Met Your Mother. I love this show. It's way better than Friends, and uh, yeah, it was literally cheap, so I'll add it into the collection. Um, so the next one was a, another one year movie that as soon as I saw, I was like, yeah, okay, you know, I have the first one. I still haven't seen the first one, but I may as well just pick up the second one, uh, just in case I do like the first one. So I'm, of course, referring to Gremlins. This one's actually Gremlins 2, the new batch. So, no, I know absolutely next to nothing about the Gremlins movies, uh, other than you're not supposed to feed them after midnight and they can't get wet. I think that's as far as my Gremlin knowledge goes. Uh, so yeah, it's one to add into the collection. Now this next one uh, I picked up because it's actually one of my favorite Disney movies. And it is um, The Emperor's New Groove. I've watched this, I don't know how many times over the years. And it's still a good movie. So it's, uh, it's definitely one to add into the collection. So there you guys go. That has been a, another recent DVD and Blu-ray pickups. Even Well, no, there were actually, yeah. I was about to say there wasn't any Blu-ray pickups. But no, there was Blu-ray pickups. Anyway, I'm rambling on, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I will see you all in the next pickups video, whenever that is.